Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I have invited Kirthana who recently got a job in the data analytics domain after 10 months of hard work. She got the role of a business analyst. So if you are a fresher and looking for a job in the data analytics domain as a Power BI developer or as a data analyst or a business analyst, this podcast will be very beneficial for you. You will learn a lot from her journey. So let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos plus you can follow me also on instagram hello kirthana how are you i'm good bro thank you how are you i'm also doing good thank you uh, i have already given your introduction to the audience so let's begin with the first question so um, could you please throw some light on your educational background yeah sure so I have done my schooling from Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Sujashram Public School uh, and after my schooling I have done my intermediate in NPC background. So mm-hmm. after my intermediate I have done my graduation in Bachelor of Science with the combination of Mathematics, Statistics and Computer Science keeping my statistics as major. Okay. So right after my graduation that was when COVID hit but I was lucky enough to to my higher uh, educational qualification also. I have written some entrance tests for university to pursue my master's and I secured 19th rank in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So I have done my master's in statistics from Sri Padmavati Mahila Vishwavidyalaya. So during the end of my PG, that was when I came to know about data science. And Mm -hmm. there was a program in IIIT Hyderabad, which is uh, nearby my home. So I have also opted that course after my post-graduation. And I'm currently doing that course uh, in IIIT Hyderabad. So you have done BSc and then MSc. And what was the passing year of the MSc? MSc, I have post-graduated in master's uh, from the year 2022, last year. So what all skills uh, like you, you started to learn after you got to know about this field? So initially, I learned Python, but I spent so much time on Python, which is not required, which is in advanced level also. Okay. But after learning Python, I moved to Power BI and then SQL. After that, I have done some projects on Microsoft Excel also. So these four are the skills which I focus more. So Python, uh, Power BI, SQL and Excel. These are the four skills you learned and targeted, right? Yes, for data analysis. But other than skills, in the path of learning these skills, I have learned uh, other skills also which are not required. So that actually made a lot of blunder mistakes in my career while applying for jobs. And what were those skills? So I learned machine learning and front-end engineering. I was particular about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is not at all required for data or business analyst. So after your post-graduation, like uh, how much time did you give to learn all these skills? After my post-graduation, I was parallelly doing my master's in data science, and uh, I was spending 10 months of time stipulatively for these skills. Yeah, 10 months was the time. So did you do any kind of internship during this duration? Yes, I did two virtual internships, one with 4 and the other with the Sparks Foundation. And Okay, uh, so how did you got this virtual internship from Sparks Foundation? So it was through LinkedIn only. Both of them were uh, through LinkedIn. I actually came to know about these two virtual internships through LinkedIn. Sparks Foundation, the foundation itself has given us certain uh, real-time data sets and we did three projects with them. And what was the duration of the internship in, in the Sparks Foundation? Sparks Foundation was for one month. And uh, like, is there any eligibility criteria or anyone can go for this internship? Any college student, any student is eligible for that. So basically there is a page called TSF, the Sparks Foundation on LinkedIn. We can find the page of them on LinkedIn and we can uh, follow them. Every month they keep uh, releasing the applications for different domains. There is uh, data analysis and business analysis uh, internship. Uh, there are uh, web application, front-end engineering, etc. So I opted data science and business analysis. I applied for that. And after one week, I got an offer letter that I am selected for the internship. So basically, they have to go to the Spark Foundation page on LinkedIn. And from there only, uh, if the uh, internship is going on, they can follow the process and apply. And if they will get, and if they will get selected, they will get to know after a week or so, right? Uh, during this 10 months, you did internships, two internships, right? And other than that, how did you manage yourself during this period? Because in the current market situation, the the vacancies or the uh, like job vacancies for freshers is very limited, right? So how did you manage your uh, mental state during this 10 months? 
uh, during 10 months actually uh, for example i started my preparation in the month of october so i did not focus on applying for jobs from october what i did is i actually focused on learning part so up to may i only focused on learning june july was when i decided to start applying for jobs so when i was learning there was no mental pressure for me because i was happily learning and clearing my doubts with uh, my classmates and professors etc but the real problem came when i was applying for jobs because i have done lot of mistakes in my resume and uh, even the path i chose for applications is also wrong so job applications was very difficult thing yeah so from october to uh, june you just focused on the learning part and you learned all those four skills that was python power bi sql and excel right yes and after that in the past two months you were just trying to apply for the jobs right so what were the main two platforms or or the main platforms you were uh, following to apply for the jobs uh, the first platform was linkedin the second was uh, nowkri and founded both of them are equal the third thing was the company career pages yeah. so like lot of people say that we apply from uh, company career portals plus they also apply from nowkri and linkedin but still they don't get the call as a fresher so what extra things you did as a fresher to got uh, to get the job so when we are applying for a job it's very important to mention only required information in our resume we can't create one resume and apply the same resume for all jobs like for all companies mm-hmm. so we have to uh, proofread our resume we have to modify our resume according to job so that is where job description comes into picture we have to uh, and we have to highlight what are required for the job and then keep applying accordingly so according to the job description you have to modify your resume and then apply accordingly right yes so that and is the most effective way yeah that is effective way and we can also check the ats score sometimes because uh, nowadays manually resume selections are not going on mm-hmm. so if your uh, resume is completely um, parallel with the job description then you will definitely receive a call so what was your ats score when you were applying for the jobs uh mine was uh, 75% which is less but i felt it is okay because i can't uh, put other things in my resume which i did not trying to be honest and uh, i kept my resume that way and it showed me 75% and uh, how did you structure your resume as a fresher i mentioned uh, three projects one with ah. excel one with power bi and another with uh, python okay so how did you get this opportunity in which you are currently working I got it through LinkedIn. Yeah, through LinkedIn I got my first job. So the recruiter only directly approached you, or you approached to the uh, recruiter? The recruiter has approached me. Yeah. Okay. And which skill uh, you were being uh, interviewed for? I was interviewed mostly regarding spreadsheets, Microsoft Excel. Okay. Okay. So Excel only helped you to get this job. Even if you were having the uh, knowledge of all the skills, but only Excel was able to get you this first job, right? okay excel. great great so friends you can hear from kirthana only excel was able to get her first job you can understand the importance of excel as an skill so try to include this in your skill set also don't ignore this excel skill set because sometimes it is a game changer for you it becomes a game changer for you as it happened for kirthana so thanks a lot for sharing this uh, kirthana yeah no problem and how did you prepare for all these four skills so for python uh, i started learning from uh, krishnayak youtube channel sir uh, so there is a channel called krishnayak so from his channel i started learning python and solved uh, questions from pi native website after okay. that i have done uh, sql uh, sorry i have done power bi so i learned power bi from your channel learn with gigs and so after power bi again i moved to sql and for sql i found uh, uh, sarathi uh, channel from youtube so from that youtube channel i learned sql basics it also includes intermediate level uh, questions also after okay. sql similarly this the same process applied for microsoft excel also i felt excel to be very easy when compared to other skills so mm-hmm. again i tried downloading data set from kaggle and whatever i built with power bi uh, using power bi the same i tried using in pa- microsoft excel also for so finally i used uh, linktree portfolio link so using that uh, linktree uh, website i linked every uh, skill of mine um, like i used github for python projects and for sql also i used github for power bi i used maven analytics 
and uh, as i said i have done my mi certain mistakes like learning dsa machine learning front end engineering etc so for that i included geeks for geeks hacker rank etc uh, so friends you can check out her linkedin profile if you want to get some idea what she is talking about great kirtana you said that linkedin uh, from linkedin only you got this job so lot of people are not there on linkedin right so you can you tell the audience what is the importance of linkedin and how they can effectively use linkedin to get their first job i think linkedin should be mandatory for any student fresher or employer because uh, that is a great way of communication great way of gaining knowledge also apart from uh, gaining jobs because i came to know about lot of information through linkedin by following some content creators related to data analytics i followed you i followed uh, raghavan p sir munna das and matt mike etc these people gave me a clear understanding of how data analytics is in the current scenario so mm -hmm. in, on path of knowledge linkedin is very helpful and coming to job job applications for or for job search also linkedin helps a lot and if you start posting your work on linkedin there will be a high chance of uh, recruiters watching your work and your interest towards uh, the domain that you are looking for so it's not like any other application so linkedin is a big and helpful platform for you to showcase your skill set or show your knowledge and your interest so that way also it is very helpful for you to get your job just like how i got my first job so friends if you are not on linkedin so please create an account on linkedin be active on linkedin post your learnings whatever you are learning build your network right building the network is very important right kirtana so how did you build your network because if, if you have a large network then only you will get the post where some vacancies are there then only you will learn a lot from other people right so how did you build your network so initially what i did is uh, i used to send connection requests to lot of people and uh, that way i couldn't get any clear understanding of how i can approach and build network with the people who are in the relevant field of data analytics so after posting slowly i tried analyzing how my profile is like i need to optimize my profile first i need to keep every section filled with whatever knowledge i have and then i started uh, sending connection requests to the people who are in data analysis or business analysis so right. they asked my request i started having a professional conversation with them and also engaging with their posts etc would also keep in a better position yeah and whenever you sent a connect connection request to any person did you add some text while sending the connection request or it was just plain sending the request uh, initially i sent uh, in a plain uh, connection request way but what happened is that way my linkedin account got logged because of sending too many requests to people without any uh, text or information and sending requests to unknown people my account got logged Okay. and uh, after speaking to people of uh, after speaking to the linkedin uh, uh, person i understood that that is not the way and you should not you have to have a proper way to you know maintain your linkedin profile you should not send request to some unknown person just like that you have to give a clear uh, message why you want to connect with them what are your expectations from that person and what do you want from that person so it should be direct point and you should not keep so much paragraph also so as i said in the starting it took around 10 months to get your first job so there must be lots of ups and downs during this duration and many people especially the free, uh, freshers complain that how how they can uh, like they get frustrated because this is a long duration and after completing the graduation if they are sitting on uh, at home and not getting a job it is a very frustrating period so how to manage this kind of uh, mental pressure during this period especially for the freshers and how did you do this getting first job as a fresher is the biggest uh, uh, hurdle i mean like it's biggest uh, difficult thing even i said mental pressure there were days where i was crying the whole night when will i get my first job i'm about to post graduate in four more months and uh, so to deal with it i think uh, don't stick too much to job search or too much on skills to learn you spend some time for yourself try to i used to do yoga every day in the morning and meditate every day in the morning and uh, spend time uh, spend some time with your family and like don't take it too serious there is a good time for you to get your first job getting first job is difficult but once you get your first job you will never look back again 
it it will be very easy for you to get a 150% hike also for your next job so it's going to be that easy the only first job is difficult so be strong and uh, keep working and keep applying that's it don't take mental pressure too much uh, as per your job uh, surge so are the opportunities still there uh, for freshers or it is getting very limited nowadays no there are opportunities there are opportunities for freshers but uh, what i would say is just don't come as a fresher at least do some internships and uh, do some projects mention all of them in your resume so that it looks like okay even she, if she or he is a fresher they have knowledge uh, they have uh, uh, the skill set they have uh, like for data analyst or business analyst okay thank you so much kirtana for coming on this podcast your journey your experience will definitely help a lot of freshers who will who is looking for a job nowadays in the current market situation So thank you so much for coming on this podcast. Thank you thank you bro I'm glad